L'Hopital's rule allows us to compare the growth rates for natural log, power functions, and the natural exponential function. Let's take a look. Starting by looking at a power function, like x squared, and the natural exponential function, e to the x. If I create a rational function with those two functions, so in the numerator, x squared, in the denominator, the natural exponential function, and then allow the limit for x to go to infinity, I can compare the growth rates. Now initially, this is creating an indeterminate form of infinity over infinity, which means I can apply L'Hopital's rule. Taking the derivative of the top, I can see the growth rate of x squared, it's 2x and the growth rate for the natural exponential function, that's e to the x. So remember, derivatives are the rate of change, so we can see that the derivatives are telling us the growth rates for the two functions. Our first round of L'Hopital leaves us with another indeterminate form, so we repeat this process, and on the second run, we see that our numerator no longer has a variable in it, just the constant, and it happens to be the same constant that the exponent had. So 2. Looking at this limit, we know we're not going to have an indeterminate form because we have a constant up top, but we do have the exponential function on bottom, and that explodes to infinity, which means we have infinity on bottom and 0 on top, so we have a constant on top, not 0 on top. Anyways, 2 divided by an infinitely large number would come out to be 0. So we are able to see that the bottom function is growing much faster than the top function, which causes that ratio to be zero. If we had done this the opposite way and put the na natural exponential function on top, power function on bottom, the result would be infinite, and that would tell us that the numerator is growing faster than the denominator. So creating this ratio, if you get a zero for your limit, that means the bottom function was the fastest growing. If you created this ratio and you got infinite as your limit, then the numerator function is growing faster than the denominator. And if you didn't get zero and you didn't get infinity, then you would have gotten some constant. And in that case, we say that the two functions grow at the same rate. So there's three scenarios. You create this rational function and if the result is zero, the bottom function was the faster. If you create this rational function and the result is infinity, then the top function was the faster. But if you create this rational function and you get a limit that is equal to a real number that's not zero, not infinity, then they grow at the same rate. So we are able to make the conclusion here that comparing x squared to the natural exponential function, e to the x grows faster. But what about other power functions? Maybe we want to consider all power functions, like x to the nth power, where you get to pick whatever you want for n. Well, we can apply L'Hopital's rule here as well, and you could imagine applying it as many times as you need to to knock the exponent on x to the n down to 1 or to zero, rather. That would require us to go all the way through n rounds of L'Hopital's rule, and every time we apply L'Hopital, that exponent comes down and multiplies to the other coefficients. So we're gonna end up with a factorial in the numerator. So that would be n times n minus one times n minus two, counting all the way down, which is a constant. In the denominator, we would still have e to the x. D differentiating e to the x doesn't change anything. So our numerator did change to a constant, but our denominator is still an exponential function. When we apply this limit, we get zero, which again tells us that the bottom function was the faster growing function. e to the x, the natural exponential function, grows faster than any power function you could imagine x to the one millionth power, still not faster than the natural exponential function. Pretty cool. What about the natural log function? Let's compare that to the power function x squared. So again, we create a ratio and we allow x to approach infinity. This is what's gonna tell us who grows faster. 
If this limit of ln x over x squared comes out to be zero, then x squared is the faster function. If the limit comes out to be infinity, then the natural log function is the faster growing function. And if it comes out to be a constant, like three for example, then they grow at the same rate. So let's compare. First, we notice we have infinity over infinity, the indeterminate form, so we apply L'Hopital's rule, differentiating top and bottom. Notice that in the numerator we have one over x, and if we continue to apply L'Hopital's rule to that, that x is never gonna turn into a constant. It would in the denominator, we have two times x, so one more round of L'Hopital would kill that and I would just be left with a two. Or I can skip L'Hopital and allow the one over x to drop down and join the x's in the denominator. I have a constant on top, one, and then on bottom I have two x squared. When x goes to infinity, that denominator explodes. I have one over a very large number, which is the same thing as zero. This tells us our bottom function, x squared, was the faster growing function compared to ln x. What about comparing the natural log function to all power functions? ln x compared to x to the nth power, where you get to pick whatever n you'd like, we create that ratio, check to see that we have an indeterminate form when x goes to infinity, apply L'Hopital's rule. One round will do it here. One round of L'Hopital's rule will show us that our limit is the same limit as one over n times x to the n. And in that case, we have a constant on top with an infinitely large number on bottom. Again, we have zero for our limiting value. So all power functions, grow faster than the natural log function. So for the three different groups of function, natural log, power, and natural exponential function, the exponential function's the fastest, the natural log function is the slowest, and the power function is just right. That's the medium growth rate compared to the other two. And again, that's any power function you could dream up. So x to the nth power.